Hello everyone and welcome to our graduation requirements video on IGETSI and UC Reciprocity for transfers. So in this video we're going to talk a little bit about IGETSI and UC Reciprocity, what they are, what requirements they do and don't cover here at UCI, as well as how to actually submit those documents to admissions so that we can get them recorded and updated for you. First things first, an overview of what IGETSI and UC Reciprocity actually are. So these are two certifications that transfer students can receive either from their community college here in California in the case of IGETSI or from their other UC campus in the case of UC Reciprocity. Um, and these certifications can be used to clear all of their lower division general education requirements here at UCI. These certifications are actually completed through your community college or through your UC advising team um, and can either be indicated on your transcripts or in a separate verification certification or letter. These are not documents or certifications that we here at UCI can actually issue for you. Um, these are only certific certifications that can be issued from your community college advisor or from your UC advisor. Also important to note that neither of these certifications is typically automatically added to your transcripts or automatically generated as an additional um, verification document. Typically, you as a student must request these certifications um, from your community college or from your UC advising team. Um, if you did everything for IGETSI or reciprocity but you didn't ask for um, certification, you won't have it. It's not going to automatically be on your transcripts. Um, so if you know you did everything um, to be on track for completing IGETSI or UC reciprocity but you haven't yet asked for it um, from your advisor, please do that as soon as you can um, so that you can get that certification added to your transcripts and sent in or you can get that additional um, IGETSI document that you can give to our office or to admissions. Students who don't have a full UC IGETSI or reciprocity certification will be required to complete any remaining general education courses here at UCI in order to complete their degrees. Um, so it's really important for you to get IGETSI if you have it um, or to get that UC reciprocity because it's going to make your life a lot easier. For students that um, don't, you have to cover the GEs. Um, that can be viewed in a separate video that we have specifically going over all of our GE requirements. Um, for those that do have IGETSI or UC Reciprocity, the GE categories that are covered by IGETSI um, are pretty much everything. So it's G GE 1 through 8, the lower division writing, science and technology, social and behavioral sciences, arts and humanities, quantitative, symbolic, and computational reasoning, language other than English, multicultural studies, international, global. Um, we do have quite a lot of GE categories here at UCI, which is why I guess your reciprocity is so great, um, because if you do have those certifications, we basically clear all of these for you. Important to note, uh, GE5 and the School of Social Sciences math requirement are not the same. So while your I guess you will cover GE5 for your GE specifically. It's not going to cover the math requirement for social sciences because the classes are not generally the same. We'll talk a little bit about that now. So here are the things that are not actually covered by your I guess or UC reciprocity. So the first thing that's not covered is your UC American History and Institutions requirement. So this is a university requirement um, and not everyone comes in with it cleared, um, especially transfer students. You'll notice that this um, requirement will often be outstanding for you. Um, please check out our UC requirements video um, for more information on how that requirement can actually be completed based on your prior coursework. So if there's additional information you need to submit to admissions to clear that requirement, um, you'll hear about it in that video. Um, or if you don't have that um, completion prior to attending UCI, um, that video will also give you more info on how you can complete it with courses that you can take here at UCI. Um, the next requirement that is not covered by IGETSI is the one and only uh, upper division GE requirement, which is our upper division writing requirement. 
All students, regardless of IGETSI or reciprocity status, must take an approved upper div writing course to complete their final general education requirement at UCI. This is true for transfers, it's true for freshmen, it's true for everybody. Um, so this course must be taken here at UCI and it's not covered by IGETSI or reciprocity. Um, so definitely, if you have questions about this, um, please check in with your academic advisors for recommendations um, for upper div writing classes that you can take for your major. Finally, as I mentioned previously, IGETSI does not cover, um, IGETSI and reciprocity do not cover the School of Social Sciences math and computer technology requirements. So all social sciences majors have to complete three quarters of uh, approved math courses and one quarter of approved computer technology course as part of completing their school requirements. IGETSI doesn't cover these, um, nor does UC reciprocity unless you have taken very, very specific courses at your community college or UC campus prior to transfer, you're not gonna have this requirement completed. You're going to have to complete it here at UCI. We actually have a School of Social Sciences requirements video that breaks down what the school requirements are in more detail and how you can complete them for your major. Um, as transfer students, you'll also receive advising from our office over the summer with information as to whether or not you have taken those very specific courses to complete math and computer tech. And if you have not, we'll tell you more about how you can complete those requirements as well. So two avenues, please watch the video for more info about those requirements um, and also be on the lookout for that information from your advisors this summer on whether or not you specifically have met those school requirements with your transfer coursework or whether or not you need to complete them here at UCI. Finally, submitting your certifications. Um, so if you have IGETSI um, or a UC letter of reciprocity, please have it sent electronically to UC admissions prior to the start of the fall quarter. There isn't a hard deadline for submitting UC IGETSI or reciprocity the way there is for your transcripts. Um, this is because admissions doesn't really require these documents, but we do um, in your academic advising office. Um, so if you, for whatever reason, you can't get it in before the start of fall quarter, that's okay. Um, but ideally, we would have that documentation from you over the summer um, so that we can actually advise you better on what classes you need to take um, to complete your degree starting in fall quarter. Some students may receive a partial IGETSI, um, which means they've completed some but not all of the IGETSI certification requirements at their community college. If you do receive a partial IGETSI, please give that certification to our office. Um, we will need that document um, to actually advise you on what you're missing and how you can complete that missing requirement to get a full IGETSI here at UCI. If you'd like more info on how you can submit your official documents to UCI admissions, please visit their website at the link below. Um, that will give you more detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how you can get those documents turned in. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please email us at socksci at uci.edu or visit our website for more ways to reach our advisors.